Audacity 3.7.5 has been released, and it is a patch release. A patch release means a fix for bugs. You can read the release notes to see which bugs they have fixed. However, if you are using ARM Windows, you have to pay special attention to this update. FFmpeg was not working on some Windows machines, so Audacity has attempted to find an alternative solution. Other than that, there are fixes for some crash bugs that have happened to many. If your Audacity has crash issues, this release may solve the problem. I have installed it, and it is working as usual on my Mac. You may be wondering if you should update to this Audacity version. The rule of thumb is never to update Audacity in the middle of a project. If you are working on a project now, complete that first with the Audacity version you have. Once that project is done and complete, upgrade Audacity when you have no active project. Many people suffered by upgrading Audacity in the middle of a project. Because sometimes unknown bugs can come in with the newer version and can destroy your progress on the ongoing project. So complete your current project first, then upgrade. In the next part of the video, I will show you my most used Audacity product, One Click Sound Better Macros. You may wonder if it will work with the latest Audacity. Yes, it will work 100% okay with the new Audacity, and I have tested it in the newest version. You will get two sets of macros that will work with an older version and the newer version. If you do not know about these macros, let me show you how it works. You can see a comment from a user of these macros. The comment shows how happy she was as the macros are saving tons of her editing time. Let's get back to how the macros work. I will show you one tool that makes your sound better in one click. Yes, it sounds too good to be true, but your audio will be processed in a click. It is an amazing Audacity tool I developed with my years of audio editing experience. You will also get some professional EQs with this tool. If you are into professional voice editing, this is a handy tool. You can turn your raw recording into professional quality in a single click. The waveform you see on the screen is a raw recording. Before using my tool, I would just play a few seconds so that you can hear the original recording. Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software, and I recommend to use Audacity as you heard the original recording and the volume level is lower than the standard level. I will make a duplicate and compare the original and the improved version. I will apply the tool to the bottom track. Select everything inside the track by double-clicking and go to Tools. Then go to Apply Macro. You can I see I have lots of macros here. You will not have such a list, but I will tell you in a moment where you can get these. I have several types of improvement like Clear Vocal, ESS Reduction, Intelligent Improve, Interview Improve, podcast improve etc. All these improvements can improve audio quality in a single click. I will show you in a moment where you can get these. I will apply the clear vocal improve on this recording. The audio has become improved instantly. Let's listen to the original and improved audio to understand the difference. I will play and alternate between the improvement and the original. Audacity is a pre audio recording and Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software, and I recommend to use Audacity as a uh, early software. I recommend using Audacity as the first software. If you are in, if you are new to audio editing and recording, I recommend using Audacity. Though Audacity may not be as stable as other paid audio editing software, but it is a good software to start with. So you see what a massive improvement I got just in a click. Installation of these macros is very easy. Let me show you how to install these macros quickly. You will see how easy it is to install. From the tools menu, go to Macro Manager. You have to import the macros. Click on Import. You will get a zip file from me and unzip that file, and you will get the macros and EQs folder. To import the macros, select the macros folder. If you want to use the professional EQ separately, you will also get those in the EQs folder. For now, we will concentrate only on the macros, because it has the professional EQ and other audio processing built into it. Inside the macros folder, you will get some TXT files. From the file name, you would know which macro it is. Each TXT file is a separate macro. You have to select a macro and open. You have to import the macros one by one as Audacity does not support bulk import of macros. I already had the macro, so it is asking me to replace it. You won't see this message installing for the first time. If I click yes, the current version of the macro will replace the older version. The macros you have imported will be listed on the left side and are ready to use. You can see the name here. Repeat this process to import all the macros if you want. This process is very simple and easy to follow. If you need help installing these, you will get after sales service after purchasing. So where do you get these macros? You can get these macros from several places. 
To support different payment methods, I have uploaded these macros on Patreon and in my shop. You can get the macros from any of the links you find convenient. They all have the same product. I have developed 11 macros with professional EQs with my years of audio editing experience. I have a detailed installation guide in the description. You will also get an installation PDF guide and all the necessary links are give there. If you want to use these professional EQ separately, you will find instructions on that. These macros come with after-sales service, so if you have any difficulty using or installing these macros, you can email me. If you are looking for an efficient way to produce high-quality voice, these macros are the solution. I have also launched a new Audacity course with version 3.6 or later. Because the Audacity interface has changed significantly and the editing workflow has changed. You will see all the links in the description and pinned comments.